Welcome to this week's Third Party Thursday. My name is Dana Bowers and I'm the CEO here at Venminder. In this video, we're going to cover the key questions you need to ask yourself about your vendors to determine if they are critical. First, it's important to separate this from your assessment of the regulatory areas of risk. What we're talking about today are critical vendors from a business impact standpoint. These are the ones that would stop your business in its tracks if they were suddenly to disappear. It's important that you define these very early on because you're going to want to handle them a bit differently than the rest of your vendors. So to determine if a vendor is critical, ask yourself these three questions. Would a sudden loss of this third party cause a material disruption to my institution? Would that sudden loss impact my customers? and or would the time to recover be greater than one business day or 24 hours? If the answer is to any of these three questions is yes, then it's a critical vendor. So let's talk about why critical vendors are so vital. Critical vendors involve significant financial institution activities, which means activities that they could cause a financial institution to face significant risk if they fail to meet expectations, or could cause significant issues if errors were made, or could have significant adverse customer impacts, or they require significant investments and resources to implement the vendor relationship and manage the risk. Here's a pretty thorough list of the items you should be reviewing on your critical vendors. Financial reports. You need to review and evaluate the financial health of the company as an ongoing concern. Two, SOC audit reports. You need to analyze the operating controls of the company and determine any gaps between the financial institution and the company. Audit reports, you should ensure the appropriate management of all operating controls and regulatory guidance. Next, policies and procedures. You need to be certain the company has governing controls to comply with regulations. Next, any required licensing and insurance such as PCI compliance or general liability insurance. After that, you should do a background check and to, um, ensure they have appropriate hiring procedures. Ensure that the company does background checks, for example, on all of their employees. Then information security policy. Ensure that the vendor has one. Let's start there. Next, let's talk about business continuity. You need to be sure the company has a fully tested plan. Network diagram. Ensure the company has thorough documentation on their network penetration testing results and what they have done to mitigate any potential weaknesses are also very important and that they are required uh, to provide disclosure of any material litigation. Finally, and perhaps most importantly of all, you need a well thought out and thoroughly tested exit strategy to be sure you have a plan should something unexpected happen. You should even try to include this exit strategy in the contract between you and that critical vendor. So to recap, the business impact of a critical vendor is something you need to carefully evaluate and plan accordingly. It's important to your institution and to your customers. Again, my name's Dana Bowers and thank you for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe to the Third Party Thursday series.